Hey, what's going on folks? My name is Sean Arnold and I really, really need some points. I've been trying to make a couple of new decks, but in order to get the cards which I want, I need to open some packs. But I'm really, really low on points in this game. So, I'm just going to be making a couple of videos on me playing online, doing some ranked matches, trying to earn some points and hopefully getting a few victories along the way. But we'll see. I thought let me start off with my um, Gravekeeper's deck this time. Oh, he is playing Lightsworn. Lightsworn could be a problem here. Um... I just thought to be playing with my Gravekeeper's deck. I haven't really spent enough time testing this deck. I've done a lot off camera in terms of trying out or trying to improve it. But I think I need to spend more time online testing this deck. So I thought let me start with the GKs and see how it goes. And he's already milling so many cards from this deck. Um, let me think about what I can do here. I think I'm going to play Polar Duality. Start digging through my deck. See what I can do to shut down his deck. He doesn't really see. Uh, I don't think Light Swords really banish many monsters from the graveyard unless they're running like a dragon variant. So, um, I might need to get some spell removal cards. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab a Lure of Darkness. I really would rather not have to remove my Gravekeeper Spy, but if I have to, I will. So, let's put, play a Lure of Darkness. This will let me draw two cards from my deck, but then I have to banish one Dark Monster. So, I'm going to lose my Gravekeeper Spy. That's unfortunate. But. I did get two MSTs. Now, let me think about what to do here. I could destroy those two cards. I could go in quite offensive and then still ride it. I think I might try that. This could go terribly wrong. Who knows? Uh, I'll soon find out, I guess. Alright, what am I destroying? Tell me something good. Karma Cup. That's gone. And now, Mystical Space Typhoon again on the other one. And it's MST as well. Good, I'm glad I got rid of MST because now I can play Necro Rally safely. But first, let's play Slash Steel. Let's take Raiden. And he disconnected. Wow, that didn't take long, did it? But I ain't going to do you guys like that. Let's try and find another match. Let's see if I can find someone that won't quit. And see if I can actually get some points in here. Matogotos! Alright, so we've got a new duel here. Let's see how we do against this person here. He's going to go second. And he's got that big villain from Yukio GX that no one ever cares about. That played those fake gold cards. I wonder if he's playing that deck. Alright, I have to go first this time. So let me put down Gravekeeper's Recruiter. And let me pop down the two. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, I don't want to do that just yet. Let's pop down one Phoenix Chain. Let's pop down both Phoenix Chains actually. And I'll put down Mars Chains too as well. Someone that will subscribe to me, um, I think his name is called Raven or Rivan619. I might be wrong about the name, my apologies Rivan if I'm wrong about that. But um, he saw one of the Gravekeepers videos that I did and he was really... Um, he, made a good, he complimented my use of Marsh Chains too in this deck, which I'm really glad to hear. I wasn't actually sure about including it in here. I thought um, it might be kind of odd, but um, like I said in the video where I put that um, w that video which I had of the Gravekeepers, I feel like the Gravekeeper archetype just needs a bit of an extra punch, a bit of a wild card just to make them a bit more competitive. Alright, what we're going to do here, he's playing Blaze Accelerator and Ectoplasma. Okay, that's a weird combination. A really, really weird combination. Um, yeah, I'm going to chain to that. I do want to use Marsh Chains too. Although, I, maybe I should have kept MST for um, destroying the spells and traps, but I'm not really too worried about them, to be honest. Okay, let's see. I have two options for Marsh Hero, Marsh Chains 2. I can get Marsh Hero Anki, which... Um, Will allow me to add another change quick play spell card from my deck to my hand. Or I could use Dark Law, which um, will banish any cards sent to his graveyard. I think I'm going to do that. I think that will work more against the Blaze Accelerator deck. Because Blaze Accelerators um, like to recycle a lot of their monsters. But um, we'll see. Now I've got Gravekeeper's Recruiter. His effect will pop, and I'm going to search out a Necro Valley. So I want to get Commandant to my hand. Let 
Let me see this card here. Yeah, it's all. It, they all depend on being sent to the graveyard, so um, using Dark Lord there was a good choice. And he's popping me Messenger of Peace. I think I've only got two MSTs in this deck, so this could be a bit annoying. I think he's going to stall and just wait for me to use Ectoplasma. That's going to be really, really annoying. Let me get... Let me use Commandant. Let me grab Necro Valley. Let me look off the graveyard. I don't know if it's going to be very helpful, but um, it will at least allow me to use Imperial Tombs of Necro Valley if I need to. I'm going to be losing Dark Claw this turn, unfortunately. That kind of sucks. This is some crazy deck that he's running. I've always wanted to run a um, Necro, an Ectoplasma deck. I think it's a situational card which can be quite useful. I'm hoping. I was thinking about running it in a deck where maybe I can attack with a really, really big monster that's easy enough to summon, and, and I don't mind losing. But then tribute to Ectoplasma as well. But right now I'm just being stalled out, which is kind of annoying. Gravekeeper Spy would be good here. I don't think I have another MSC. I really, really don't. I don't know what my options are in terms of being able to destroy a card like Messenger of Peace, to be honest. I might have to play his stupid game of um, Stall and Ectoplasma, but we will soon find out. Uh, with Blaze Accelerator, I don't know if he's going to be special summoning much. I think I will take Ragiki just to be safe. Um, I've complained about this before in the past, but um, I hate it when I see a lot of new players just splashing random cards into their deck without really giving much consideration. I mean, it seems to be working fine for him here because he's protecting himself, but um, who knows? Actually, do you know what? I do take back what I said. I mean, so far, his deck does seem to have a running theme for it. He's going to be able to burn me with um, Ectoplasma. Okay, let's bump that monster back to the hand. Let's see if I can get something good with Pot of Duality. MS, another MST would be really, really good right now. Unless, have I used both of them already? I can't even remember what duel I'm in now. Yeah, I've got, I think I've still got one more in my deck. Ah, right, there's one MST. Okay, that's perfect. Right, let me use Stell. Alright, let me try and poke with Recruiter. And let me just destroy uh, Messenger of Peace. He's probably got another one which isn't going to be too helpful. But uh, let's see what I can do right now. So attack with Recruiter. And he's stalling some more. How fun is this game? Jesus Christ. Well, as exciting as this is, let's see if I can do some damage this turn. Flip summon Gravekeeper's Commandant. Nope. And now I'm going to summon Descendant. Next I'm going to play Royal Tribute. Which will allow me to discard all monsters in both players' hands. So, I guess I have to go for Swords of Revealing Light. I guess. So let me use Descendant's effect by tributing one other grave, um, Gravekeeper on my field. I'll be able to destroy one card on the field. So I'm going to destroy Necro uh, Swords of Revealing Light. Now I'm going to attack with Descendant for 2,000. Now let's use Master Change 2. Let's summon Dark Law. Let's attack with Dark Claw. Hopefully he doesn't respond. 
And that's game. Good games, Mata. And boy, did that take a long time. Fucking bullshit!